whole gym storage and organization isn't sexy. Oh, yeah. And I'll tell you straight away, it's never going to be trending on TikTok. And in fact, most home gym influencers aren't going to touch it with a 10-foot pole because they know it's not going to get any views. Well, I'm not here for views, which is pretty evident in most of the videos that I shoot. But today, I'm going to be going over the best home gym storage options of 2024. And I guarantee there's some of these you've never even heard of. The No Fake Channel, checking in. Jonathan here, and home gym storage and organization is the single most important thing you can do for your home gym. It will literally lead to more effective and fun workouts. Today, I'm going over all of the options when it comes to home gym storage and helping you decide which is gonna be right and best for your space and equipment. The home gym storage option that nobody is talking about, and this is the one that's probably gonna be best for most of you, is mass storage. And the reason is, most home gym owners don't have a complete set of dumbbells, kettlebells, slam balls, 2,000 pounds worth of plates, and 28 barbells. Most home gym owners have a small variety of essentials, and that's all you need to absolutely crush home gym workouts and to get into fantastic shape. Mass storage allows you to specifically tailor your design to your home gym. It also takes full and complete advantage of vertical real estate space, and it has the ability to expand as your home gym grows. It isn't cheap, but it is nice to specifically have a tailored designed piece of storage equipment for your home gym. And the fact that it can hold and store so much equipment is a fantastic use of home gym real estate. Just a bit about the manufacturer, Vulcan Strength. Now, they're not a fly-by-night company. They've been in business for over a decade, established in 2009 out of Charlotte, North Carolina, and they are 100% veteran owned. Now they do offer total cart discounts if you spend over a certain amount. They also have military discounts and free shipping. Vulcan mass storage comes in two options. The 42 inch width that you see here and the large Marge 70 inch version. Be sure and tell them large Marge sent ya. It tops out at an impressive height of 69.5 inches, but still low enough to fit in any home gym. Plus, it has a maximum depth of only 28 inches, meaning it's not gonna chew up all of your precious home gym real estate. Ooh. The price starts at $405 and goes up from there, depending on what you order. But this isn't some cookie cutter Amazon junk. This is tailored to your equipment, your lifting style, and your home gym. You can pick up to five different shelves to fit in here, and you can make those shelves whatever you want. Kettlebells, dumbbells, slam balls, or plates. You can even add additional attachments onto this thing if you want a place to store all of your bands, or you want additional plate storage, or in fact, fact, you just want to store some barbells. Yup, it's got an attachment for that. And should your home gym expand and grow, well, Vulcan Strength Mass Storage can grow with you. You can buy additional add-on segments to expand and add an additional column and shelving. I don't know how you make a video on plate trees interesting. I couldn't do it, but if you can somehow pull it off, I'll watch it. Good luck. When it comes to storing weight plates, you got a ton of options out there. A lot of people will gravitate to what's known as a plate tree. This comes in a few different sizes, but most people pick the small version. And I say small, but it will hold two barbells and a lot of plates, so much so that it will probably exceed what many of you can actually lift, even if you have bumper plates, which tend to be thicker than cast iron plates. The beauty of these things is that they are cost effective, they're sturdy, they will last forever. They're not so heavy that you can't pick them up and move them around if you decide you want it in a different location. Now, if you like the idea of a plate tree, but you want the beefed up version, you can go with Bells of Steel. They've got a version that's commercial grade. It holds four barbells versus two. It holds way more plates on it, and it comes with wheels so you can move it around. But there is one downside, and that comes with your power rack. When you are utilizing your power rack, you are gonna have to 
Take those plates and walk them at least around to one side of your power rack, and that can be a bit of a nuisance. A lot of people do like to utilize rack-mounted plate storage. The great thing about it is that you've got equal plates on each side of your power rack, making loading the bar and unloading very, very easy. I need to thank all of you for using my affiliate links, which are in the description of today's video. And when you use those links, it not only goes to pay for future content, it helps support and pay for all of the amazing props I use in my videos. Let me know when you use those links so that I can send you a small token of my appreciation. Storing dumbbells is an issue because you can't have a whole bunch of dumbbells lying around the floor of your home gym. It's just not safe. And frankly, you're gonna get sick of it very quick. Now the best dumbbell storage are the ones you typically see in your local gym. They've got a cup shape. Each individual dumbbell sits in one of those cups. It's neat, it's organized, it's easy to take a dumbbell off and put it back on. So what's the problem? They're expensive, they're very expensive. Also, they do get sold in very long increments, meaning you need a very big gym to set up shop with regards to those type of dumbbell holders. And they only utilize two different shelving levels, meaning you lose a lot of vertical space when trying to store your dumbbells. Now the dumbbells you see behind me are stored on your typical home gym dumbbell rack. This one's from Rep Fitness. It comes in four colors, and the beneficial part of it is that it's very cost effective. It's got three tiers, and it's wide enough to hold a significant amount of dumbbells, but not so wide that you can't find a spot for it in your home gym. And if you wanna just pick it up and move it, once you take the dumbbells off, it's not that hard to do. I will say the problem when it comes to these style is that you still lose a lot of vertical real estate when it comes to your home gym. And if you've got very large or heavy dumbbells, they can be a bit of a nuisance to load and unload because of that style, especially if you're gonna be putting them on the bottom rack. A few sick and twisted home gym owners have a barbell fetish where they feel the need to pick up and collect 20 or even 40 barbells. But most home gym owners will have one or two barbells followed by a few auxiliary bars that they need to store. And the number one single best way to store those barbells has to be a wall-mounted gun rack style barbell holder. It's the most cost-effective, takes up literally no space whatsoever. Now, if you happen to be one of the previously mentioned home gym owners that has 20 or even 40 barbells, Brandon, you might want to go with a vertical barbell holder. This is a good use of space because it will hold a significant amount of barbells so long as you have the height clearance in your home gym. Now they do sell rack mounted barbell holder attachments. I'm just not a big fan. They usually can only hold one barbell. If you've got a lot of stuff going on around your power rack, it's kind of just gonna be in the way. And if you utilize your uprights for attachment storage, it's gonna be blocking some of that precious storage Sonic space. Boom. A great option for many people in their home gym for storage has to be simply racking. Thanks to the invention of the internet, you can go on there and find any type of rack you want and any color you want and any height and width dimension that you want. And frankly, it's great for storing some of your bulkier items that aren't gonna fit on your wall or attached to your power rack. Now this rack you see behind me, link in the description, is literally sold from a company called Muscle Rack. And I picked this one out specifically because it held a ton of weight in terms of the specs, but it was also very shallow. It's only got 18 inches of depth. Now it came with metal graded racking, which I found to be quite loud and frankly wouldn't let my kettlebells sit comfortably and sit flat. So I simply just put out cut out pieces of horse stall mats and that not only saved the sound effects that I was getting, but it also made everything sit nice and level. Simply the best use of vertical wall space, without a shadow of a doubt, for storage and organization has to be wall control pegboard. These things, made out of metal. They're gonna last forever. They come in different colors, sizes, and options. And I will tell you, for $55, you get two panels, which at first glance seems a little bit steep, but they are fantastic, easy to install. And if you happen to pick up your stuff and set up shop someplace else, you can simply back them out and take them with you. And if you've got a lot of small stuff to store and organize, man, oh man, you've got to look at wall control pegboards. It's 
time. It is time for my final thoughts when it comes to home gym storage. And the reality is it's just not that sexy and it's not gonna get you any clicks on Instagram, but it is the single most important thing when it comes to a home gym. Making sure that your home gym is neat and organized will literally lead to more effective, quicker and more fun workouts because of that time you put in up front. So make sure that you're spending the time and the money to utilize all the tools available to maximize your home gym storage and organization. If you want to see another fantastic home gym video, then check this one out. It's sure to tickle your pickle for a nickel. Oh. And if you made it this far, you and I are like best friends. Hey, I love you like a fat kid loves cake. As usual, don't save anything for the trip back. I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody.